Okay, Assalamualaikum uh, and good evening to my MEC351 students. Okay, so in this video, uh, I will show you the calculations how to solve the problems uh, in heating and humidification process. Okay, uh, this question here. Uh, you also can find it in your textbooks, uh, thermodynamic textbooks, uh, under the chapter 14 in that textbook. Okay, uh, so for in this video, I will show you step by step how to solve these problems. Okay, normally uh, the test one, uh, the question in the test one uh, comes uh, from this section either the heating and humidification of air or cooling with dehumidification of air so in our past uh, previous semesters for the test one uh, this is a uh, quite favorite questions okay so make sure you uh, learn and study uh, step by step that uh, the uh, the calculations that I will show you in this video okay so we start now with the uh, question itself okay uh, you can read it an air conditioning system is to take in outdoor air at 10 degrees Celsius okay so you have to write down uh, Make sure you try to uh, draw this diagram uh, if it is asked in the test one because uh, this diagram will uh, ease you in analyzing the process. Okay, so air here shows the direction from the left side. So here is the intake and here is the outtake, the outlet. Okay, so uh, the question tells us that uh, outdoor air uh, at 10 degrees Celsius okay is to take in outdoor air at 10 degrees Celsius okay so here just put it 10 dry bulb 1 or, or maybe you just uh, put it just T1 10 degree Celsius okay and 30 degree uh, and 30 percent relative humidity so uh, V1 equal to 30 percent or 0 0.3 okay and at a steady rate of 45 meter cube per minute okay this one is the flow rate so i put it uh, v1 v dot one or maybe you can uh, use the symbol of q but i uh, don't suggest you use the symbol for q for the flow rate because it will confuse you uh, the flow rate with the heat because we also use the symbol q for the heat okay so i put it v dot here v dot one is equal to 45 meter cube per minute okay and to condition it to 25 degree celsius and 60 percent relative humidity so here uh, to condition it, it means that this is the outcome, the process, the outcome of the process. So we we target that the air can be converted into 25 degree Celsius. So I put here as T3. Okay, T3, 25 degree Celsius and relative humidity of 60%. So V3 is equal to 60%. Okay, the outdoor air is first heated to 22 degrees Celsius in the heating section. So here, uh, the, the, the air passed through the heating coil first. So it is heated to 22 degrees. So I put here T2 equal to 22 degrees Celsius. Okay, in the heating section. And then humidified by the injection of heat of hot steam in the humidifying section. So after it passed through the 
after it reached the state 2 here so it will pass through the humidifier here humidifier acts as a device to spray the water vapor into the air so it will pass the water vapor here it adds the water vapor into the air here okay uh, and then okay so assume assuming the uh, the entire process take place at a pressure of 100 kPa so all the process here is P equal to 100 kPa so if you want to use the uh, formula for the entire calculations so it is uh, very accurate but if you want to use the psychrometric charts we know psychrometric chart has to use at p uh, 1 atm equal to uh, 101.325 kpa so uh, the value here is uh, uh, slightly different just uh, differs to one uh, kpa so it is negligible uh, and then we can assume that uh, the pressure here 100 kpa also can be used in the psychometric chart okay you can use the psychometric charts uh, so for this video i will show you how to use the psychometric charts and then uh, you also can do by your own using your formula and compare your results uh, from the psychometric charts and the results from the formula equations okay uh, okay then determine a the rate of heat supply so the question itself uh, is to determine q the rate of heat so q dot means that uh, the kilowatt in unit kilowatt in the heating section okay so the question for a uh, the value uh, that has to be determined is the q here in the heating core because uh, there is q in here we know it is heated so the q must uh, be uh, become from the outside or from the energy here from the electrical energy if the heating core use the electrical energy and then the q in will be uh, uh, add to energy of the heat will be add to the air so that's why the uh, temperature of the air uh, increases uh, from the 10 degree of celsius to become 22 degree of celsius Okay, so the question asks you to find the Q in MB the mass flow rate of the steam required in the humidifying section. Okay, we know uh, during the humidifying process here, the water uh, is sprayed into the air. So the question for B is to determine the mass flow rate of water. So I put uh, W water red okay symbol W okay and then that's all the information you have but there is uh, some hidden information that question assume you to know it already uh, such as uh, the example is uh, during the simple heating or cooling process in this case we have the simple heating process uh, between state 1 and state 2 so you must know that the specific humidity here is constant okay so that's why in the psychometric charts from the state 1 to state 2 its value of uh, specific humidity is constant okay but its relative humidity changes relative humidity varies relative humidity depends on the situation but in the simple or simple heating or simple cooling its specific humidity is constant so that's why in the psychometric chart you must draw the point from state 1 to state 2 at this horizontal line okay so uh, that's all we can start our calculation now okay before that uh, there are three uh, assumptions or three general equations that you must write down for every uh, problem with the heating and humidification of air or maybe cooling with dehumidification of air so the general question is uh, now we have three general questions so the general questions are 
dry air mass balance here ma means the dry air right so mass balance mass for the state one must be equal to the state two and must be equal to the state three okay because in the dry air we do not have the vapor so the air itself is constant there is no leakage there is no uh, new addition of the air so the mass of the dry air must be constant from state one state two state three so we just write down this general equation for the dry, dry air mass balance okay and the second equation is the water mass balance so these equations we know the mass balance is mass input must be equal to mass output or if you add some other mass so you must add into the equations okay right now uh, we see at the a uh, one state one here okay uh, mass of vapor is equal to mass of uh, vapor at state two but when you add the water spray here so it will have to add mass of water vapor at two plus the mass of water equal to mass uh, of vapor at three okay and finally the energy balance okay energy balance also uh, we know that uh, the general equation of energy balance uh, energy input must be equal to energy output uh, this is based on the uh, first law of thermodynamics law uh, and energy cannot be created nor be destroyed but can transform into another form okay okay uh, uh, i have to uh, break uh, one minute i will uh, continue after this okay uh, now we continue with our calculations okay so what uh, you are going to do first uh, you focus on the que the question first or what the question want you to find so for the first one you have to find the q dot in okay so you find in this our general equation here where the q in that uh, can be used okay uh, we found that q in q dot in can be uh, determined by using this equation Okay. So we write down Q dot in equal to M dot A uh, H2 minus H1. Okay, and for the B here we have to uh, analyze between the state 2 and the state 3 because the general equation here only shows you about the state 1 and state 2 okay so for the state 2 uh, also uh, use the same general equation state 2 and state 3 M A one equal to M dot A two equal to share between two and three, so this one will be M to the M A three. Okay, water balance. M dot A two omega two plus with the mass of water that is spread into the air equal to m dot a3 omega 3 okay uh, if you see here m dot a2 equal to dot m dot a3 because the dry air uh, is constant throughout the process so we can just use ma 
omega 2 plus m dot w water equal to m dot a omega 3 okay you rearrange here so you will get m dot omega uh, w of the water equal to dot m a omega 3 minus omega 2 okay so this is the equation that we will use in determining the in determining the m dot w i'm sorry okay so to find our q in and m dot w we have to know the uh, properties value here enthalpy 2 and enthalpy 1 m dot a m dot a and also here you have to know the value of omega 3 and omega 2 okay so h uh, as we learned in our previous video h represent for the enthalpy omega represent uh, for the uh, specific humidity okay so now to make our calculation easier i will show you how to use the psychometric chart okay first uh, we have to find the point uh, that shows the state one okay so uh, at least you have two uh, value uh, for the state one that we are gonna use uh, to plot the point on the psychometric charts okay so now i have the dry bulb temperature 10 degrees celsius so it must be here 10 degrees celsius but it's not here you have to find you have to know the second value that can uh, we accurately uh, point the uh, state one here along this 10 degree line okay uh, the second value that is given in the question is the phi one relative humidity 30 percent so now along the 10 degree of celsius line you find the 30 degree of relative humidity okay so this curve line shows the value of relative humidity uh, the lowest part here is 10 percent 20 percent and 30 percent so from this line okay so i know the point of the state one is on that point okay easy uh i erase this first okay okay so that is our first state one so you point it as state one okay now we know the state one to state two there will be the heating uh, process simple heating process uh, like uh, the diagram here shows you that one to two is the straight line to the right okay that's uh, is because the simple heating or simple cooling uh, the specific humidity is constant okay the value of specific humidity is on the y axis here so if it constant so the process will be on the horizontal line along that line okay so the second uh, information of the uh, the first uh, the information of the second states we know the t2 the dry bulb temperature at state 2 is 22 degree celsius so you find on that dry bulb temperature where is the 22 degrees so this 120 21 22 so it is along this line okay okay and we know from here okay so it will be here because it is just the straight line okay i put it the line from here to oh this line is not accurate mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. Okay, I try. Oh, still above that line. Okay, never mind. I use my pen. Uh, try using the red line. Okay. Here. it must be here right okay you show the arrow here means that the process for the state one to state two okay so name it the state two okay so we have the value for the state one and the state two how do we find that value okay by looking at the properties that we want on the psychometric chart okay so now we go to the state 3 uh, what's the value we have on the state 3 is the temperature and also relative humidity okay once again you find using this uh, information you plot on the psychometric charts Okay, 25, where is 25 here, along this line, 25, right, it's 25, okay, and where is the 60 relative percent, okay, relative humidity, 60%, okay, this one, so the point for the state 3 is here, 25, okay, can you see it? 60 percent 25 degree okay it is intercept the line here okay so there is our point of state three okay so use your ruler uh, to connect the point of state three and state two Okay, so this is the process <coughs> from state 1 to state 2 and from the state 2 to state 3. Okay, so uh, now we are going to solve the A questions. Uh, to solve the A, you have to know the H2 minus H1. So we find the value of enthalpy 2 first and the enthalpy 1 after that okay so from the state 2 to find the enthalpy you have to uh, sorry uh, you have to uh, make a line parallel parallel to the uh, enthalpy line here okay so there is the H2 or is the value of H2 okay here is 20, this one is 30, so we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 of interval. Okay. Uh, you see a calculator. Uh, the interval is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's say 10. So, it's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. So, uh, 2, 4, 6, 7. So, uh, the value is 27 kilojoule per kilogram right so we have the value of h2 now okay and we now we have to find h1 okay 
Page 1 here 20 So 19, 18, 17, 16 16, 40 12 10 Okay so 12, 14, around 14 Okay So uh, We can substitute this value Into our question here Equation skew dot in Equal to m dot a H2 is 27 which one is 14 okay but how do we get the m dot a here okay to find the m dot a you have to use the the other information that is given in the question uh, which is the volume flow rate okay if you remember volume flow rate equal to meter meter cube per minute right uh, 45 okay okay specific volume is equal to meter cube per kg so if we divide the v dot over specific volume the unit m dot 3 over minute uh, if you divide so it become the kilogram per meter cube so the unit will become uh, meter cube cancel off so you will get the value of kilogram per minute so this is the unit for the mass flow rate right so that is the equation for the mass flow rate of dry air that we are going to find so v dot over specific volume okay just remember these equations if you don't want to repeat my derivation of formula here okay and the 45 here uh, is the value at the inlet right here v dot one so to use these uh, equations <coughs> i'm sorry v dot one must be divided by specific volume one so now v dot one can be used the psychometric chart okay at the state one here you have to find the, psych uh, the specific volume which is represented by this line so this line is 0 0.92 this one is 0 0.90 88 86 84 82 and 80 80 0 0.80 so this one is 0 0.81 so here we are in the middle between the 0 0.81 line and 0 0.80 line so i can say that sorry i put it the parallel line here okay right that so the v1 must be approximately around 0 0.805 agree with me yeah sure you must be agree with me okay so the v.1 is 0 0.805 what is the unit okay refer back to the second chart the unit is volume uh, cubic meter so it means that meter cube per kilogram so kg right meter cube per kg so now we can find the m dot a specific volume one uh, from the second metric chart is 0 0.805 v dot volume flow rate is 45 
but uh be alert this in the minute so if you want to maintain in the minute you can uh, go on if you want to convert into the second kilogram per second uh, you can uh, divide it by 60 so I just uh, maintain it in the meter cube uh, in the minute 45 over 0 0.805 I get the value of 55.9006 kilogram per minute because I don't change the minute into seconds but if I want to change it you divide it by 60 seconds so I give you the alternative uh, results here 0 0.9 G17 kilogram per second. So this is the answer for the A and eh, not A, eh, the MA mass flow rate. So using this um, M dot A, you substitute into our equation here. So Q dot in equal to let's say I use the kilogram per minute first. 55.9006 27 minus 40 so I get 726.7078 unit of Q dot N is should be if you have uh, kilogram per second here so you will get the kilowatt but now we don't have the uh, rate in second we have in the minute so you have to maintain the unit kilojoule per minute okay uh, otherwise I use the uh, kilogram per second here so 0 0.9317 times 27 minus 14 so I will get Uh, point one one kilo watt. Okay, so this is the answer. This is also the answer for the A. Okay, easy, right? Okay, for the B. For the B. M dot W equal to m dot a over uh times with omega 3 minus omega 2 so we already have the value of the m dot a uh, let's say i use 55.9006 kilogram per minute omega 3 i don't have the value yet omega 2 yes you have to find from the state 2 here Okay, what is the value of omega 2? Omega is represented by this axis. So, uh, use your ruler, pembaris. Okay. So, around here is 2. Uh, this is 4. So, here is so this one is 2.5 this one is 3.5 so the, our line is between 2 and 2.5 so I estimate it is in the middle of 2.5 and 2 so omega 2 uh, equal to 2.25 okay what is the unit okay this one you must remember the value here is in the unit of gram per kilogram but we want the value in the unit of kilogram per kilogram so uh, straight away you have to divide it by 1000 to convert the gram into the kilogram so the unit must be in the uh, kilogram per kilogram Dry air. 
okay so i have the value for omega 2 uh what 2.25 okay okay what about the omega 3 okay we also have the point of state 3 so uh using the same uh, method uh do it Can I use that? Ah. Hmm, tak boleh juga. Okay, boleh. Lebih kurang lah kan? Okay, 10, 11, 12. So, approximately it is omega 3 equal to 12. Uh, over 1000 kilogram per kilogram dry hair okay so substitute that value into our equation 12 over 1000 so finally we can have our answers 12 over 1000 minus 2.25 of 1000 so my value is 0 0.545 kilogram per minute why in the minute because we use the value here is in the unit of kilogram per minute okay what uh if i want the unit in kilogram per second so you have to use the value of m dot a is in the kilogram per second And also, if you want to double check, you try uh, divide 0 0.545 by 60. Because uh, this is the second. This is in the minute. So you will get the value of kilogram per second. Okay. make sure you try by your own if not uh, you will be uh, will have the problem with the calculations you have to try by your own okay so that's all for uh, heating and humidification of air okay so uh, based on our calculations here it is easier to use the psychometric charts okay what if you use the uh, equation that we have learned before in okay using this equation to find the properties let's say to find the enthalpy use these equations to find the omega you use these equations and to find the phi you use these equations and so on okay if you use, uh, use this equation the results may differ a little bit with the results using the cyclometric charts but the results that come from the equation here without using the cyclometric charts is more accurate okay so uh it is optional for you if uh, the pressure of air around uh, 100 kPa or 1 atm uh, or 1 atm if not around that uh, pressure value so you only must use the equations 
cannot use the psychometric charts okay so that's all for this video and the next video i will show you how to uh, solve the problems for the cooling with dehumidification process so until our next video uh, thank you good luck and bye bye